Hello everyone, welcome back from the long break. I know I haven't posted in a while, I've been caught up in school recently. Anyway, putting that aside, I have something I think you guys will enjoy. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and set up the Dolphin Emulator. Now, the Dolphin Emulator allows you to play any GameCube or Wii game, depending on your device. So, your system requirement is right here on screen. You need a 64 bit edition of Windows, Linux, Mac, or Mac OS. Uh, Windows Vista SP2 and Unit. Unix-like systems other than Linux are not officially supported but might work. A CPU with SSE2 support, a modern CPU, 3 GHz and dual core, not older than 2008, is highly recommended. And a reasonably modern graphic, not the modern graphics card, uh, Direct 3D10 or OpenGL3. A graphics card that supports Direct3D11 slash OpenGDL 4.4 is recommended. So that's all you guys need to know. Anyway, to start things off, go to the first link in the description. This will take you to the Dolphin website. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> From here, click download it will bring you to the beta versions, the development versions, and the stable versions. Now, I usually recommend getting either the beta versions or the stable versions, but we're going to just go with the beta version, so click this blue button here, and that will pop up right about here. There, there it is. Um, you can download the uh, development versions, but those update frequently, and you just look at this three updates in the early day. It's ridiculous, but, you know, I'll show you guys how to do uh, automatically update once we actually get to it. Okay, so now we're going to open the second link in the description. This is Microsoft Visual C++. Click this red download button, select both of these, next, and we're going to download both of those. Alright, once that's downloaded, uh, you're going to go ahead and open that. We're just actually going to drag all that out there. Okay, so here you have it. This is what it should look like. So when you click into it, just give it a sec. Alright, when you click into it, it's going to bring this up. Yeah, terms and conditions, I agree, and you're going to install. So, since I already have it installed, I don't need to, so we're all good there. And it's pretty much the same thing for 86 right down here. So we're just going to move those in the trick bin. There's Dolphin. Okay. So, now, we're going to move on to 7-Zip. Go to the third link in the description, and here we have downloads for 7-zip which we will be using. So you can either get um, the Windows 32-bit or the 64-bit. Now if you're, I recommend the 64-bit because it just works a ton better, but if you need 32-bit then you gotta do 32-bit, but I wouldn't know that. Anyway, you're just gonna click download. And 
and it will bring up this. So you're gonna press install. And yes, I'm installing all of these twice. It's great. But you know, I want an accurate tutorial. So, there we have it. We have 7-zip installed. So now, Dolphin Master here on Mario's Nose. It's not gonna load, it's like a really, really slow to Nice, okay. Like I said, my computer is really slow, it's a 2009 HP Anyway, as you can see, we have 7-zip right here, you're just gonna hover over that. And right where you see, extract to Dolphin Master-5.0-127, uh, yeah. That, that probably doesn't matter, but... You want to extract it to itself. I could do that. Alright, so now that this, that's done, we have a folder right here. I'm just going to open that. Right here. And dolphin. Okay. So, now, we can probably just move. We'll not worry about that right now. So right here we have Dolphin. So I'm gonna double click. And there. Once it loads. Alright, and here we have the uh, allow usage statistics, statistics reporting. I said that very wrong. But anyway, it basically, if you authorize it, then everybody who works on Dolphin receives feedback on, well, Dolphin. Well, from you guys, so that way they can make it better. So I'm going to turn that on. And as you can see, it says Dolphin did not find any GameCube slash Wii ISOs or WADs. Double click here to set a game's directory. So, um, I'm going to leave my Discord in the description so I can tell you where I get my games since it's not really legal to just share on a YouTube video <laughs> where I get them. Um, so, that'll be in the description. Please don't misuse it. Yeah, cool. I had to make a lot of cuts in this video. Anyway, right here under general, we see auto update settings. Now we're gonna auto update right here. So what do you do? You can do don't update stable, which is once a year, beta, which is once a month, or the dev. dev. I'm gonna do dev just so I get the latest and greatest. Now, you can do whatever you want with the interface, but with the audio, I recommend the default version. Pass, we'll worry about in a minute. GameCube, you can do whatever you like, same with the Wii, and then you have the, the advanced, which I recommend you don't mess with for now. Okay, now I'm going to go into graphics. Open GDL does work, but for some games like Pikmin 2, it doesn't fully load the textures. So I recommend Direct 3D11. Yeah, so my computer is recognized as a Windows 7, although it is clearly not Windows 7. That's just how it was, because Windows 10 didn't exist in 2000. Anyway. Um, if you want, you can turn on show FPS, so when you're in the game, it'll show you your FPS in the top right. Okay, I also want to check if use full screen, because you can use full screen. Um, we're going to do native. Always choose native, native otherwise it's going to lag a ton. Uh, going over to hacks, we're going to skip EFB access from CPU. That's it for that. Advanced, 
again, leave it unless you know what you're doing. But yeah, we're done there. So now it is time to open up the game. Alright, so I have my game. It's Super Mario Galaxy 2. There we have it. So now we're gonna go into Dolphin. And we're gonna go to Config. Add. Add. And go to Desktop. And there we're gonna select the Super Mario Galaxy 2 folder. Select that. And now we have it. Super Mario Galaxy 2 on PC. So now to set up your controllers, um, we have your GameCube controller, you have your Wii controller, your Wii mode. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Wii U Pro controller, and I also have the Magic NS adapter. So let's just plug that in. And then turn the controller on, and I will show you how it works. So, A, which is, uh, if it's going to work, oh wait, yeah, that's right, i got to select that one. So now if I press A, it'll work. You can see the it's going bold. Um, I'm going to do B as right trigger because it's Mario Galaxy and it's hard to play with. It's hard to play with controller. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna do all of these. Um, up on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, left, right, up right, and extension is nunchuck. Motion, I'm gonna do, let's see. Um, Right stick. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it's a little finicky with the newer versions. It takes a second. So there we go. Now we go to our extension. This is the nunchuck, and this is how we're moving. Press up, down. Yeah, there we go. You can worry about other things later. So now that we have our controller set up, let's go Super Mario Galaxy 2. Yeah. So, the end kit ISOs are have a um, slower loading time, but that doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, it's, it's really laggy when you first start it, but once you start teaching your computer, oh god, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's laggy at first. Once you teach your computer, oh, this is what we're doing, then it will do that. So, anyway. Now, how I did this is if you have a, a .7z file, then you just want to do the same to what we did with Dolphin, so you just want to extract it to itself and that will give you the game folder. So anyway guys, that is the tutorial for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Let me know if I should do more stuff like this. Anyway, goodbye.